Hey everyone, this is Mr. Sparrowhawk. Um, I'm going to show you how to put together a flute um, for your first time or during your first week while you're um, just learning how to do this for the first time, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is find the top of your case. Now most cases will have um, some sort of a label that's like maybe a brand name of the, of the instrument on the top. This one doesn't, okay? There's a serial number on the bottom, but it doesn't have a, a brand name. So if that's ever the case, um, you look for where the handle is, okay? The handle is always attached to the bottom part. So I can see the split of the case right there where it opens up, okay? So I know that the handle is, is bottom, okay? And that's the way you wanna set it. Um, so when you set that down, um, that positions my straps in a, in a way that when I open them, it, they sort of fall down like that, right? But then some straps will pull up like that and, and stay up. So I have this kind. And then when we open this up, <clears throat> you want to probably have it sitting on a surface or on your lap or something, but everything is in, is in a particular place, in a molded place for that piece, okay? So you have to make sure that you look at it and see where everything is and just kind of make a note. Sometimes it's very obvious by the molding itself, and you can look at the molding and see how it fits in. Sometimes it's not so obvious, okay? So I just noticed like on the, the, the two pieces with keys on them, uh, I notice which side the the majority of the keys are on okay so like this little piece has a lot of keys sort of towards the middle of the case right and not as many keys on the outside part here but then the other one is the opposite this one has all the keys over on this side and less keys over here so it's just good to kind of make note of um, that okay and how that looks um, so when you pull these out um, another thing you may have, and I'll talk about this more later, but you've got a, might have a cleaning rod, which is basically a long shaft, and then there's a sort of a, a needle hole at the end, like on a needle, if you've ever seen uh, somebody sew with a needle and thread. Um, this, you want to put a handkerchief or a cleaning cloth, which are usually very thin. Uh, paper towels won't work because they'll break apart. Um, and usually washcloths and things like that, wash rags are usually too thick, so you can't get them to go through here. So you're gonna get a thin cloth, stick it through there, um, so it goes about halfway through, and then you're gonna actually put that inside each tube. You're gonna go all the way in, and then you have to, uh, if you can get it all the way through and pull it out the other side, that's great, but I think on these longer pieces on the flute, you can't do that. So just go all the way as far as you can, pull it out, and then turn it around, do the same on the other side, okay? And then when you're swabbing the other pieces, you can go more all the way through, except for the mouthpiece, which has a cap on the end. Just leave that cap in place, don't pull that off. So you can just go all the way in as far as it'll go. It doesn't even go that far anyway, so that part doesn't need to be cleaned. And then this one will go all the way through, so you can just put it through and pull it out. Do that with a washcloth, or not a washcloth, but with a, a thin rag doesn't obviously clean it with just this, but I was just showing you how that looks. Um, so when you're putting your pieces together, uh, you can just start with the middle piece first. Um, you always wanna try to be careful when you're grabbing this and putting your hand around it that you're not squeezing too hard because you could easily bend these keys. And then when they get moved out of position, then the pads don't cover the holes all the way. And as we learn on recorder, if the, the hole is slightly uncovered, it makes all kinds of goofy things happen. So um, you have to avoid that in order to keep it out of the shop so that you can actually practice, okay? So you're gonna look at the side with more keys on it. You're gonna take the little piece with keys on it, okay? Which, um, and you're gonna take the side with more keys on that, and those are gonna go together, okay? So um, the way I like to think of this is, um, I start out, like um, you'll notice that on the, the longer piece, the keys are all kind of lined up, and if you look down the pipe like that, you can see that most of them are sort of in a, a, a line. They're lined up with each other. And then there's some keys on here that are sort of the same, right? Now these keys we don't put our fingers on, these round ones, but these sort of little tear-shaped ones, these different little um, flaps over here, you're gonna put, be putting your pinky on. So. What you're gonna do is take those, the surface of those, and line that up with all of these keys, okay? Now that's not where it is gonna sit the most comfortably probably for your hand, but um, we're just gonna start there and then I'll show you how to adjust it. 
um, when you're putting this together, you may notice that it, if it feels really difficult to, it doesn't slide right on sort of smoothly and it uh, is hard to pull off or hard to, to, to turn back and forth, okay? Um, then there's something called uh, cork grease or slide grease that you can get. And it usually comes in like a little chapstick thing. Um, it, some uh, of your recorders from last year may have come with this. Um, and you can use that. It's in a little, uh, like a lip balm type thing where you would put your pinky in it and use that. But I've got some that's in like a chapstick um, uh, tube. And they're all pretty, they all work pretty well for this. But basically you're gonna, you're gonna take that and put it on um, this part, okay? Where the, the smaller piece fits over this and kind of overlaps that part. So that's where you're gonna put it. So here's how you do it. You just basically put it on, draw a circle around doesn't have to be connected. You just get it um, a little bit of it all the way around. And then when you put the piece on, you're going to spread what's on there around a bit. So you put those two pieces together. Again, when there's more keys, more keys on this side, you put those two pieces together. And then you're going to notice that this time it's going to slide in, and especially if you sort of twist it on there like that. Twist it while you're pushing in. Don't want to do anything and, and have to force it. If you feel like you're forcing it, probably better to, to put some some stuff on there and you can use chapstick too um, it's not ideal but um, you can start with that if that's all you have you can use Vaseline that that works perfectly well um, and if you can get some cork grease or slide grease from a music store then that works well as well and all of that you can get on Amazon as well so you have your your two pieces together now my, mine are not lined up I have these little posts lined up but I was saying to line up these keys with the little flat keys on the on the small piece, right? So I'm going to do that, and it just slides, it moved very, very gently, which I like. So those are all sort of lined up now, right? From here all the way up, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take, and I'm going to uh, move this a little further in that direction, okay? And I'm actually going to take the post on this side and line it up with those keys. Because when you put your hand there, I said your pinky was going to be operating these, and that's in this hand. So you want you want it to be comfortable for that pinky, and it's going to reach a little better because pinkies aren't as long when you put your hands there. Okay, so these round keys are for your other fingers, and the pinky goes on those little I call them teardrop shaped keys down at the end here. Okay, so now we have the two pieces together, and we just need to put the mouthpiece on there. Um, and then what you're going to do is that same line of, of keys, you're going to try to line up the hole of the mouthpiece with, okay? So you do the same thing. You s slide it on there. There's a bit that overlaps. It's colored differently, just like on the other side. We'll see how smoothly it slides on there. You'll notice that in different types of weather, it will react differently because metal and wood expands and contracts in cold and warm weather when it goes back and forth. So you may experience that issue slightly differently day to day um, as the weather changes. But I'm going to go ahead because it, it feels a little bit sticky. I might as well go ahead and put some on there. And we're talking about it, right? So I might as well do it. So I'm going to draw a line around, same way. It doesn't really matter that this is a bigger uh, area. There's uh, so little room in there that it just all spreads around to everything. So you're not going to have to worry about putting a lot on there. If you put too much on, it's going to cake up and get kind of gross. Okay, so it's moving nice and smoothly now. Um, I'm gonna look down, I'm gonna line up that hole with my keys as close as I can. That, that looks pretty close. And um, you'll find that maybe there's a more comfortable place once you start playing, okay? And that's on the next video. So this is it put together, right? Now if you think of it as recorder, uh, um, you, can, you can remember that your left hand goes on top. There's some keys back here for your thumb that it's going to typically play. And then the, the keys in the front that you're playing, um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do those, I think, on the next video. But it's very similar, and you're using mostly the round keys. I can show it to you here, and then the, the pinky on this, these flat keys on the bottom, okay? So, uh, and then this other thumb is just there for support. So it's kind of like the recorder, and then it just turns sideways, okay? So I'll go over that in more detail on the next video on playing your first notes, okay? All right, good luck.